welcome to Damagome. Today I'm going to make brown chapati. And here are my ingredients. This is the bowl I use. I have hot water, I have salt, I have uh, cooking oil, I have honey. I'll use honey instead of uh, sugar. Then I have the unga. I use uh, pure uh, health uh, unga. That is chapati afia. Welcome. In a bowl, I'll add water. This is hot water. I think that's enough for my chapati. I'll also have salt. Just enough. I'll also add oil. Just enough. And then I'll add honey. Uh, a generous amount. And then I'll stir this until it's mixed before I add my flour and knead it to get a, a firm duff or duff for the chapati or bowl for the chapati. My water is well mixed. I'll now add my flour a bit by bit. I like it now for the dough. This is my well kneaded dough. So I'll just cover it with the tank fill for about 30 minutes before I start cooking. Minutes. My dough is ready now to roll it. I'll now use a knife to separate it into two pieces as I roll it. I've already rolled my dough. Now I have uh, straightened it, now I have to put in a hot pan. When you see the bubbles, it's time to turn it. Yes, and it's cooking fairly. And I like boiling at this time. So I put it here. I like using a brush because a brush will help in using very little oil. And the other side, now I oil it. And also turn immediately because the other side, I believe it's ready. This is the progress of my chapati. You can see it's uh, fully swollen. That means to be very soft. Yeah. The chapati is still cooking and very bubbly. This is my well-served brown chapati and matumbo stew. You can see my chapati is very soft. It's actually peeling off. I have been your chef Dama in Dama Gomer. Bon appetit.